looks like things are okay. So it has been a while since I've had the time and energy simultaneously. And actually, energy is quite low. But uh, I've actually been writing quite a bit uh, on my own. It's this really wonderful way for me to deep wind at the end of the day. Uh, well, it's actually been a little bit of time since I've done it live. And, and that's mainly because it's this whole other thing to put energy into doing this live. Um, and I know it's going to be a minute or two before people get notified or even join into what's going on here. Let me make sure one thing here. I didn't do this unlisted, right? So I've definitely done that before. Okay, it says public. Alright, everything looks good and, and people are jumping in. Okay, well, and the setup is different than it was the very last time I did this here. Um, but uh, I have been told that people would prefer to see more of the handwriting and uh, less of everything else. So I've figured out a good happy medium to do that. But I have been handwriting often and something that I've noticed is helping is uh, imagining myself handwriting. So just in my head imagining the shapes of the letters and, and the movement through the letters and the sensation of movement through the letters. Uh, hello Von D, thank you so much for joining us today. So I, I do a lot of that uh, in the free time that I have and and then I do spend some time handwriting uh, on my own. And part of the reason why I haven't done any writing live is that uh, it, it takes a lot of energy to also interact with whoever might be here. Oftentimes there's, there's not many people, but still that little bit of energy uh, can be draining, especially uh, with this new position where I'm I'm dealing with interactions all day, which has been good. I've, I've been enjoying my work at the museum quite a bit, uh, and I've been acclimating well. And, um, and we actually have some exciting things planned in the future, handwriting related. I'm hoping that I can put together a show Related to handwriting, we have some nice uh, specimens there at the museum. No, nothing of American penmanship, but uh, an old book uh, reprinted in 1886 that features some of Albrecht Dürer's engravings. And there's this large text of high German uh, calligraphy on, on one of the pages kind of explaining the contents of that book. So I plan on putting together a little exhibition related to those pages, uh, showing them off, and then I'm in the process of recruiting some presenters who may be able to, to speak to a good degree on the contents of that book. So that's exciting. It's something to look forward to in the future. But yes, this idea of, of spending time imagining the handwriting and imagining the movements I found valuable. And uh, yeah, I'm no, nowhere near as studious of a penman compared to the likes of uh, uh, David Di Giovanni. Oh man, that guy blows me away. I actually learned probably more uh, from his 20 minute videos than I do from any number of writing sessions or practice sessions that I do. And, and then when I translate the things 
and the insights that he offers in his videos, my goodness, do they work. So I'm really grateful to have uh, people like him involved in penmanship and also creating content around penmanship because it's one thing to be involved, but it's a whole other thing to actually be creating content and sharing your process. And uh, that I think has been extremely valuable to improving my own handwriting. So I'm very thankful for that. And if you haven't seen any of Perfect Biscuits videos, which I'm sure most people here, if you follow me, I imagine you follow him. Um, but yeah, by the off chance you haven't seen his content, you should definitely check it out. But uh, I do feel as if I've been making some strides in handwriting. And it's interesting because I probably haven't been handwriting as much as I was prior, but that time in between and that time to kind of uh, maybe solidify the, the things gained, um, maybe the insights that you have during a writing session and then to sleep on it and to let that uh, really sink into your neurological system. I feel as if it's been beneficial to my overall writing. And then also, like I was saying, imagining, just imagining very, very vividly the process of writing and also the sensation of writing. And then also something that I've been doing and making uh, more time to do is just write letters to people. So just uh, literally sitting down and handwriting and not worrying so much about the quality of the handwriting and just enjoying the process of writing and, and the utility of it and really the, the magic of being able to share your thoughts in writing with someone else. So I've had some people recently send me things and it's really a joy to just sit down and immediately write them back and just kind of spontaneously share thoughts with them and then send it out. And we recently uh, where I live, we recently had the mailbox system adjusted so we can send outgoing mail really easily now. I don't have to go to the post office, which is amazing. And that's made it a lot easier and has motivated me to write more often and send letters. So I've enjoyed that. And there's something that happens, I feel, as if when I take the pressure off the quality of my writing, or, or the, you know, the aesthetic perfection of writing, uh, it actually improves the overall quality, I think. Um, you kind of enjoy more, you don't worry so much about what it is that you're, uh, you're aiming for. And, you know, I don't, I don't really want to put myself in the place or in, in a position of authority over the technical details of handwriting. Uh, it's never really been my intention to be uh, this, uh, like the way I would compare it, you know, we have some people, uh, I would say in the community, like I, I think David is a great example because you can tell that he's really taking his study seriously and he's not just studying in any whimsical way. He is working on uh, um, business penmanship and looking to replicate and advance his own understanding of what these old masters were doing where I don't know if I necessarily want to do that um, I think I, I appreciate greatly what they did and I think it's amazing but personally I, I just want to advocate handwriting in general I just want people to spend a little bit of time with their pen and with their thoughts and and to do that in the way that is most enjoyable for them. There's no right or wrong answer when it comes to sitting down and handwriting. So, like even in, um, <laughs> I'll be very vulnerable with you right now. The other, the other day we had somebody posting in the Discord channel. If you're not familiar with the Discord channel, I highly recommend you join our Discord channel and um, learn what that's all about. And there are people there who are very good at penmanship. 
and can help you potentially in your journey of improving your penmanship. So it should be linked in the description down below. You can join the Discord channel. But recently, in the Discord channel, maybe not too recently, this was a few weeks ago, we had somebody post a sample of theirs using the protractor and measuring out the angles of their letters. And I looked at it, and I just really glanced at the, at the image, and I thought, oh, how wonderful this person is taking the time to sit down and measure everything out. And so I think I responded briefly, really very quickly, and I said, uh, nice. I think it was that one word response. And um, you know, later in the day, I real I realized that other people had responded to his, his image, and they had posted. Uh, that he had made some mistakes and that his angles were off and that he should try to correct them And I thought oh wow look at me like I didn't I didn't notice any of that and I felt bad for a moment I was like oh man am I how could I have been so negligent right to and just um, And just let that go by without being noticed, but at the same time I thought well I think just the group being present had influenced him enough to maybe take the time to either go and purchase a protractor, find one, and start measuring out his connection line, his connective slants, and his his main slants. And I thought, oh, maybe that's a good enough thing for me to have done, <laughs> uh, is create a group where he could be motivated to do that kind of thing. Uh, but I did feel very self-conscious for a moment to think that, oh, wow, well, I'm, I'm not really paying that much attention to what's going on here. So like, sometimes I feel as if people join that group looking for my guidance. I, I hope not because I'm not really uh, trying to put myself in a position of authority when it comes to handwriting. I'm just trying to advocate for handwriting and hope that others find the, uh, the joy in handwriting the same way I have. Um, so that's, that's my little rant on how I was feeling that day and my me being vulnerable for a moment but anyways I have been having a lot of fun handwriting and I know I haven't been doing it live for you guys but we've had other projects going on simultaneously in this space and it's just been consumed by that and recently we finished one of the projects which was this VR project that I've been working on with my girlfriend and so the VR equipment was taking up this whole table and I, I wasn't able to sit down and write on stream easily and that's part of the reason why. But another part of it was that it, it takes a lot of energy to be here live for you guys and talking to the camera and simultaneously writing. And then one thing that I have really enjoyed in writing letters is this version. Of the word dear with the capital E with in place of the lowercase e. I just really love the way that looks. And so I've been doing that a lot. And I think maybe that's why I've been so excited to write people letters, because then I can write this version of, of the E. Does everything look okay to you guys? I can zoom the camera in a little bit more. If you guys want the camera zoomed in a little more, just uh, hit F in the chat or something. F's in the chat. I've also had a breakthrough with a capital E recently. There was something about the, this letter that was just baffling me. Every time I tried to do it on a whim without having warmed up really extensively, I would always mess up. And then there's something that recently clicked about the sensation and the movement of it that my E's have been, my capital E specifically, have been coming out a lot better. I've been much happier with them. I spelled that word wrong. I 
think it looks fine as long as the chat box isn't in the way. Oh, I see. You must be on a phone. Are you on a phone, Vondi? Cobra Kai. I can't say that I've heard of Cobra Kai. What is that? continuation of the Karate Kid. Yeah, I have to say that uh, I don't really find myself with much time for any sort of uh, ingestion of medium at the moment. Uh, the, the time that I've spent on the computer at home has recently been um, writing for grants and applying to other things. I, I haven't, I can't say that I've spent too much entertainment or too much time on entertainment. You know, I think I like this version of the H stem over this one, but I, there's something about this one that I still don't understand completely. This is a pretty good H in general, though. I'm happy with this one. So what's the deal with your VR project? Oh, um, 
Well, it's not really my project. I just have the equipment, uh, not the VR, but the computer and uh, and the technological know-how to get the VR operational. But uh, my girlfriend has been illustrating a a documentary. It's kind of like an anthropological video uh, over here in Long Beach. They have uh, this Native American site on the, the campus of Cal State uh, University Long Beach and there's this oration of the origin story that she is illustrating in VR and then they're making a film out of it so she's she's illustrated the whole story and then uh, and then we send the I guess the scenes to the guy who's in charge of the project and then he's gonna animate it and create a, a film out of the scenes that she's drawn in the virtual reality. So if you want to watch the VR movie, you can uh, you can watch it wearing a headset and you can like be inside the movie kind of thing. So, and that's been very interesting. Uh, hello, Miguel. Playa del Carmen. <laughs> awesome. That sounds like a beautiful place. So yeah, that, that's the VR project. And yeah, I had to set up the VR and I, in order to, I guess, complete that part, I had to wear the headset and everything. And it was uh, like way too immersive. Uh, really, I was kind of blown away by how immersive that VR thing was. and. And then the program too that she's using is called Tilt Brush, and you can draw a world inside of it. And man, that that thing was pretty cool. Of course, you can imagine what I drew when I was in there. A bunch of letters. I was just drawing a bunch of letters. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys know if the if the film ever becomes available to the public. I know that the guy is going to try to enter it in a few film festivals, and then there will also be a, a little uh, kind of film festival at Cal State Long Beach where you can actually go and see the, the film that she made and that he made using her drawings. So it should be pretty cool. Oh, another thing that I, I just kind of wanted to mention and address, and obviously not everyone who's contributed to this is here, 
but uh, this channel has continued to grow over the time of my uh, you know uh, somewhat inactivity and I am extremely grateful for that I, I see that you know, we're getting new subscribers every day and I hope they kind of see current activity isn't up <laughs> and so they're not expecting a ton from me or they're not expecting the wrong thing at least but you know my plan is to continue to do live streams as often as possible now that things are a little bit more stable here at the house in, in my office again we can potentially get home and and do live streams right away so uh, I will continue to do that um, but, uh, but yeah you know we've continued to grow new people have joined um, and new people have continued to watch the videos so that's uh, greatly appreciated um, it's motivating for me to keep doing it see people are interested in handwriting and uh, and the style that I'm interested in as well which is this business cursive style American cursive and American penmanship in general so that's really cool to see and uh, I hope that continues All right, I am just big thank you to whoever may see it whoever may be a part of it recently had a question this person probably is not here right now but somebody was asking me about the importance of posture and that they were having pain or difficulty and discomfort something along those lines and keeping the meaty portion of the forearm on the table um, yeah and I need to make a video that's kind of dedicated to that question because I can't really answer that now and Obviously, the camera setup now is not conducive to me answering and giving demonstrations. So, we'll, we'll work on that.
hope, but the short answer to that question is that I would consider posture to be quite important. I've also found that doing a, a very exaggerated warm-up to handwriting helps a lot in the sense that you sit down, you really lengthen the spine upwards, loosen the shoulders, drop the arms a couple times. I, I, I did that before I hit uh, start streaming today. But um, if you guys are interested in seeing that and what that looks like, and I don't know, it would be of value, but um, just doing those small things prior to writing actually makes a pretty big difference, I feel. It makes things a little bit more enjoyable, and I feel like it offers a good base that, okay, I know that if I stray from this, uh, I'm going to be moving into a poor posture. All right, Von D, thanks for stopping by. It's a, a pleasure to be here again streaming for you guys, and I hope you found it enjoyable. There's a really cool W. I don't know if I can really do it, but it went like this. No, that's not how it went. It went something like this. I think that boot might have been lower, like over here. I don't know if I can really, without sketching it out and then trying to understand. But it was posted by, ugh, let's not even try. It was posted by David in his Instagram story. He went over to the Library of Congress and... No, no, not Library of Congress, I'm getting confused. Chicago, Newberry, uh, library, was it the Newberry Library? Library in Chicago. And he, he checked out some of the specimens available there. American penmanship. And he posted a lot of great photos. Okay, I'll definitely work on making a video on on posture.
I've also been writing a lot on blank sheets of paper. I think I'm getting kind of good at writing straight, but it still needs a lot of work. Alright, this will be the last page I do before we sign off here tonight. It's not too late, but uh, I would like to go to sleep at a decent time. I can get carried away handwriting.
All right. Thanks for tuning in. If you've tuned in, I, I'm going to end it there. Hope you all have a good night. Feel free to leave comments down below. Check out the Discord channel in the description. You can kind of keep up. I, I do post more samples that aren't streamed live in that place. Um, and there are other penmen there who are more skilled than I am who can offer their advice and expertise in different ways. So, for those of you who've tuned in, thank you. And uh, if you're watching this on the playback, hello. We'll catch you live another day. Okay, ciao, y'all.